all shaped in many ways by the place we come from. Carnell Switsky's main career, although he has several professions, was formed in a surprising way by growing up here. And I think, honestly, it sounds kind of hokey to say, but it kind of comes from the farm and watching my dad just problem solve and be creative. You know, he, he made a water slide for us out here. He made a little hot tub for us. As an old Ukrainian farmer, it's all about problem solving. And as I reflect, as I'm older, I realize that whole like creativity thing in every aspect of your life is something that I've, I've really tried to focus on. The Juno award-winning musician grew up dividing his time between the family home in Saskatoon and their farm northeast of the city. When I finally got, was like old enough and in his mind responsible enough to drive it, it was like, okay, I'm actually like sort of a farmer. This would be among the final times he would set foot here, however. The family made the decision to sell the farm not long ago. His father, Orest, also recently passed away, making the process an even more emotional one. And since I don't farm, like, you know, there's no use to keep it. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty tough. The music and this land are inextricably linked for Carnell and not just because of the creativity he learned here. Ask Cornell how many times he's ridden and harrowed the field, the driveway here. When the land wasn't being worked, the instruments were being played. His family also toured as musicians. And this recent Saskatoon concert gave Carnell the opportunity to welcome a pair of performers to the stage he referred to as his musical idols. We're going to get my sisters to come join us and we're going to do a little, a little family jam set here. Oh, I definitely remember watching my sisters play fiddle before I could even, you know, really understand what it was to try and play the fiddle, and that was what I wanted to do. And um, you know, talking to my mom, she always said that because of that, I would grab the fiddle and just try and make noise. Give it up for my sisters, everybody, Candice and Kim. But family concerns also led to Sawitzki moving away from the farm, city, and province he has known most of his life for a new home in Toronto. He's married to actress Amy Maticio, a Regina native who has appeared in numerous movies, TV shows, and commercials. She says the opportunities to continue working in her home province have dried up, in large part because the Saskatchewan government eliminated the film tax credit, which has effectively shuttered film and television production in the province. We had to sort of make a decision and and where we would go so that I could work and that he could still do what he does. So we moved to Toronto. Toronto's been really great to us. It's been really kind to me and what I do and sort of the community is very welcoming. I feel like everyone is from somewhere else in Toronto, which is really nice. Um, but I mean, obviously we miss being home. I, I literally think Toronto is just a bunch of small communities and our daily life in Toronto really isn't that different from what it was in Saskatoon. It's a little you loving me. For Carnell, this concert and the tour he did to promote his long-awaited double album, Crazy Old Man and SKMB, provided an opportunity to not just return home, but to share the stage with Amy, who is also a talented singer. She is literally one of the most talented singers that I know, and obviously it's, it's magic to be being there on, on stage with her. I love watching him play. He's such a soulful player and a beautiful storyteller, even in the instrumental world. I mean, he's he's so known for that, but for a reason. I think he has such a gorgeous tone and brings his own style and sort of flair to how he plays. And I'm really proud of him for taking on such a big project like this double album. So yeah, I'm a huge fan. Carnell says it's possible his next album will be recorded entirely with Amy. They've already teamed up on one successful collaboration with the recent birth of their son, Jagger. And while the family is primarily based out east, there are still several reasons for him to return home. Let's try again. Here we go. He has been working with students at St. Michael Community School, a highly appropriate space to share fiddle instruction 
as the curriculum is based around Métis teachings and culture. The fact that we're able to celebrate fiddle music here at a Métis school allows them to connect with their culture, their Indigenous culture, and it not just for the students, but for the family at large, the cookums, the aunts and uncles, the, the mushums. Two, ready, go. It's good because he's an actual profes professional who's actually done his own CDs like we have and he's been teaching us amazing stuff. It's really fun. He likes to make jokes here and there and he just makes the class a little bit more exciting. Uh, he, we've been learning a lot of new tunes lately because of him. That's really what I wanted to focus on. Not so much on I want the kids to be you know, the perfect violinists or the perfect, perfect fiddle players. I want them to realize that it doesn't have to be to this, um, you know, for this glorious reason of trying to make money or for fame or to, to have this, this end goal. Sometimes you can just create because it feels good. Yeah. The engagement of our students here in the fiddle program is phenomenal. You'll hear them talking through recess time. Oh, can I come and fiddle at recess time? Can I um, come early? Will Carnell come and teach me an extra lesson? Um, the engagement or even students saying, I did not miss school today because I knew it was a fiddle day and I did not want to miss it. Nice. I like that it makes like music and like a whole bunch of beats it can make that just make your ears like they're in heaven. <laughs> in addition to part-time farmer, musician, and teacher, Switsky played hockey at the junior level. Oh, and he also has an engineering degree from the University of Saskatchewan that he still occasionally uses. You know, juggling these things where I'm going from maybe going to an engineering job and going to a tour, then coming to the farm, then going back to Toronto and, and looking after Jagger while Amy's on set. Um, I don't think about it in terms of like, oh my God, it's stressful, it's just, what's the next thing? Amy and I talk about this quite a bit where, you know, when we're old and, and Jagger's out on his own, we want to look back and, and say, we didn't spend a whack ton of time, you know, whether it was like watch, watching Netflix. But like Saskatchewan will always be his true home, music will always be his true professional love. On the heels of wrapping up his solo tour for the double album late last year, he's headed to the UK this spring with his band, The Fretless. And the group recently received another Juno nomination, this time for their album Live from the Ant Farm. While the praise and attention his career has received would likely go to some artists' heads, it's no surprise Carnell remains firmly rooted. I feel like my journey is honestly just starting. I feel that uh, what I want to do and where I'm at, there's still a, a major gap. Um, when I look back at what I've done, I'm very proud of it and I'm, you know, I'm very happy of the journey that I'm on and I'm very happy where I'm at. Um, but I'm, I'm very excited to continue to push and to try and really grow it even further to a place where someone who would have never said they're a fan of a fiddle player says like, oh no, I'm a fan of Carnell. Thanks so much.